Hello, my name is Gavin McInnes. I'm also known as uh, Whistling Cheeks because I fart a lot. Um, I was asked to comment on this Indian video, but I'm reluctant to do that because I'm married to an Indian and I made a bunch of Indians and I don't want her family to be mad at me. So I'll just sort of tread lightly. I'll be he who treads lightly while I talk about this video, eh? <laughs> Why do Indians have the same accent from Inuits in the top of Canada all the way down to the southwest? They all have that strange sort of Canadian accent where they sound like that uh, they're a cop from Saskatchewan trying to explain something to you when you're drunk, eh? Um, all right, so let's see these girls talking about misconceptions about American Indians. I don't, that's the word I use. I don't like First Nations or what is this? Native American people. <laughs> Why does the left always come up with names that are longer? I liked blacks. Now I have to say people of color? That takes too long. I'm going to say Anchor Baby. Hi, my name is Donette Rayon. Pause. I'm a Native American. This has nothing to do with Native Americans, but if you have an eight head, I recommend bangs. I'm sorry to insult a little girl. I know that's uh, punching down, but I cannot recommend bangs enough. They're a great look. Go ahead. Girl, and today you're about to get schooled. We'll see. Here's what I, this is why I brought up this video. This is a new thing with the left where they, they say you can't talk about that thing because you're white or you're a man. You can't talk about women's issues if you're a man. Like, a, can a male doctor talk about women's reproductive organs? <laughs> you don't have to be the thing to talk about the thing. You don't have to be in professional sports to talk about professional sports. In fact, you'd probably be not as good at it if you were a quarterback. Uh, you don't have to have been in the Civil War to be an expert on the Civil War. So I don't care who's saying the facts. Facts are facts. Native Americans don't get some sort of special privilege to talk about Native Americans. In fact, what we're about to learn, I'm, I'm imagining, is these girls probably don't know that much about being Native American. <laughs> Sorry. All right, go ahead. Native Americans still live in teepees. And, you know, not all of us lived in teepees. Teepees for, were made for only travel uses. Well, we own one, but we don't live in it. <laughs> we don't live in it. Could these we two be weirder, please? We want to. They look like we dolls. We use them for things like ceremonies or camping and such, but we don't live in them. Yeah, I know. Can you just pause it there? Who the fuck thinks that Indians still live in teepees? This is a myth? You're busting this myth? I can't, not only do I not think Indians live in teepees, but I can't even fit into my brain someone who thinks that Indians still live in teepees. And by the way, I saw this at the American Indian Museum here in New York City. They had a little placard and it said, uh, not all Indians live in teepees. And they had this little plaque that explains that they live in apartments. Who the fuck thinks they freeze their balls off sitting in a teepee in February? Yes, they still use them at ceremonies, at funerals. You'll be in a teepee for three days, high out of your mind on peyote. Even sweat lodges aren't very teepee-ish. It's a big thing of wet sleeping bags on a bunch of sticks. It's like a dome, a geodesic dome of wet sleeping bags. Uh, no one thinks you live in teepees, so that was an idiotic waste of time. Native Americans get lots of government handouts. Okay, that's the fact. I have to say to that, where is my check? We really don't well, get don't anything for free. Everything we, everything we get, we have to work for it, just like everybody else. If we had free health care, then the diabetes and heart disease rate would be very, very just low. Just pause. But See, this is weird. You get a little kid to tell you about Native Americans, and we think she's an expert. This is why Indians have a problem with diabetes. It's a genetic thing. Sugar's new to them. Sorry. But when you, when I eat sugar, my old Scottish body goes, oh, you found some berries, by the way, no, no problem. Or when I drink whiskey, my Scottish body goes, I'm familiar with that, I've been doing that for about uh, 800 years. But when Asians or natives drink alcohol, their body goes, what the hell is this? And they get shit-faced. Similarly, when they have sugar, their body goes, where did you get 900 blueberries condensed into one tiny thing? I'm going to hold on to this sugar, because you're never going to get that much sugar ever again. And then you eat another candy, and they go, what the fuck? You found 10 billion raspberries at once? The, their genetics aren't used to having sugar, so they have trouble breaking it down, so they have a major problem with diabetes. It's got nothing to do with healthcare. And as far as the money goes, it depends on the tribe. There's 500 tribes in America. I know the Navajos are probably at the bottom of the list. I think about half of them live in extreme poverty. And then you have that uh, the Sioux, the Shakopee Sioux or whatever they're called. They get like a million bucks a year. 
So I don't know what tribe you are, so I don't know how much money you get. But yeah, a lot of tribes get checks. My kids get checks. My wife gets checks from her casino. And I used to have a problem with it, actually. And uh, she, she kind of schooled me on it. She said, uh, it's not white guilt money. You're not paying us out of shame. It's a land deal. This is the Ho-Chunks in particular. It's a land deal that the government screwed us over on, and we're still getting the interest on that. So I'm like an heir to the Guinness throne. Um, that I understand now. Okay, it's like a legacy thing. So yeah, some tribes do make tons and tons of money with casinos. And by the way, speaking of the Shakopee Sioux, don't they look awfully white to you? I've noticed that the wealthier the tribe, the more white they are. And some of the tribes I call bullshit on. Yeah, you heard me. Like the Pequots. I call bullshit on that tribe. I don't think you're a real tribe. Yeah, I'm saying it here now. Yeah, you heard me. And, and also, by the way, uh, n another thing that just popped into my head, I've been saying this for a while, you're not Indian if people don't ask you if you're Asian, okay? So you have to be at least 25%. You have to have these kind of eyes before I call you Indian. If you're less than 25%, no. And that's why a lot of people say they're Cherokee, by the way, because I don't think they have any checks, so they go, yeah, go ahead, be Cherokee. You can be 150th, and we'll count you. My wife's tribe, they go, if you're not getting a check if you're under 25%. And they, they do pap smears or whatever, sorry, the cheek tests. So stop saying you're part native. It's really irritating. Unless you got these eyes, you're not an Indian. Go ahead. At this point in time, it's very high. Our dad works to provide for us. We, we don't get like money or anything. We get schooling for Those free. Sweaters That's not are true either. We have bizarre. to meet the same academic requirements as any other ethnicity. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So they're saying free school. Of course you need the same academic requirements, but plenty of universities in America provide free school if you can genetically prove that you're an American Indian. That's just a fact. No one thinks you just get into the school if you're a retard, uh, but you do get free school. Do you kids not know that? Well, then why am I listening to you? To apply for scholarships. Native Americans don't have to pay taxes. That's true. <laughs> I thought it was just Donald Trump that didn't pay taxes. What? See, this is, uh, slow down, this pisses me off. What's going on here is they're politicizing these kids and liberals like visible minorities as pets. They liked blacks as their little pets until in California they voted against gay marriage and they went, bad dog, bad dog, no, no. And now they got BLM stopping gay pride protests and they go, hey, bad, ne bad Negro, bad pet black. And now they want, they tried trannies for a while, they were too mentally ill, and now they're politicizing American Indians who, in my experience, tend not to be that political and haven't been since AIM, the American Indian movement. But, you know, back in 2004, I remember there was a, a survey and they asked Indians what they think about the Washington Redskins, and 4% of them said they have a problem with it. The other 96 said, fine. Indians name their teams Redskins. But now it's become cool, and now if you ask Indians if they're offended by the Redskins, the number is more like 96%. So in just a few years, all of a sudden they've become offended by something? No, what you've done is you've poisoned the well with your bullshit social justice warrior shit, and you're using these people, children, young girls, as pets to further your anti-Trump agenda. And it's racist, and it's child abuse. Hey, it's like, pause again, sorry. It's also uh, that thing where, where they, like, remember that video where those girls are saying, fuck Trump, and they have a bunch of kids? They're like ISIS liberals. They have no qualms about using children to further their agenda. And by the way, to go back to the uh, natives don't pay tax thing, they don't. In Canada, they don't even pay sales tax. Now, if you have your own business and you're American Indian and you, you run a, a, you know, a McDonald's, you have to pay tax. But as far as the res goes, if you're living on the res, you don't pay tax. Res money stays on the res, no taxes there. And as far as sales tax, I can never get a straight answer out of these guys, but I've seen Indians up in Canada, First Nations, buy shit and not have to pay tax. They also, by the way, get to hunt. Whenever they want, hunt whatever they want. So if you want to go shoot a moose in December, uh, go with an Indian and he can just say he's the one who shot it. No one's saying that they're spoiled. Uh, Native Americans are rich off of casinos. Well, we already if covered we that. rich off of casinos, why would we need government money? I think that we just mostly lose our money to casinos. We all gamble. <laughs> That's true. Just pause. With, with my wife's drive, they'll get their check from the casino and then they'll go blow it at the casino. And it goes around and around and around. 
But uh, yeah, there's 500 tribes. Why are these liberals? I don't think liberals know that. So they're talking about Native Americans like it's one big group when you have a huge range of income and a huge range of lifestyles. And no one thinks those lifestyles involve teepees. All natives wear, nat uh, wear headdresses. I think everyone knows that that's mostly for the not chief and it's Americans. not all tribes. Don't we know that? In some tribes, they don't wear them at all. In my tribe, we don't wear headdresses. And but she's we southwestern. Never did. Women don't wear headdresses, and you have to earn them. It wasn't just given to them or handed down to them. You have to earn every feather that makes up I that figured. headdress. I think if we knew that. By the way, did you know this? Would... Indians, women aren't allowed in the teepee. I think this is all tribes if they're menstruating. I thought that sounds kind of sexist, but my wife says no, it's because they honor them so much. Eh. You'll notice, by the way, Christianity is the only religion that gets raked over the coals. Like with Indians, they have medicine men, and then in the Native American church, sometimes they worship Jesus, sometimes they don't. No one mocks that. No one dares say, it's sexist that you don't allow women in the teepee. No, 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 they get a pass, and it's the bigotry of low expectations, of course. Only Christ Christianity can be criticized. Their, their religion is beautiful and spiritual, and it is in touch with Mother Nature. Catholics are all rapists. Go ahead. Be, that would be disrespectful because there's no meaning behind it. You didn't do anything. By to the way, can I just pause something? You know how I was giving Jews shit for not embracing Trump and saying you guys should love Trump and love Christians and let's band together against Islam? I also notice in the American Indian community kind of a disdain for these whites who gawk at them at powwows, especially Germans are obsessed with them for some reason. And I don't think Indians like Germans fawning over them. Uh, you should. You want your culture to get out there. You need new members. You're literally dying. So if someone wants to, if you think that they're fetishizing you, so what? Let them wear a headdress at a party. Let them wear it as a Halloween costume. Let Germans come into your tribe and learn your language and try to document it. You need all that attention. That's how you, your, your, your culture stays alive. Don't worry about diluting it. Worry about maintaining your numbers. White people are not your enemy anymore. And by the way, we fought you for 400 years. You put up a good fight. We didn't steal your land. You kicked our ass, and eventually we won after brutal slaughters. You fought with the French. You fought with the English. We fought against you. We fought with you on our side. It was the We fought the Nazis in like an hour and a half. Boom. We killed them with less money it took to build Obama's website for health care. You guys were the most worthy adversaries in the history of colonialism. We're, it's like when you beat up that guy, you have that arch enemy in high school, and then you guys end up being best friends. That's what we should be. We had a 400-year brawl. <laughs> Go ahead, cute Again, kid who needs bangs. Another word. Oh, this one's a doozy. Another word for Native American is redskin. That's a fact. That's racist. Just pause. It's not fucking racist. Stop poisoning these children and trying to make them into your liberal pets. Redskin is not racist. Indian tribes. Indians. In the Southwest, name their teams, their high school baseball teams. They name them Redskins. And I hate this stupid controversy. Why would anyone call themselves the Florida niggers? Like, no one calls their team an insult. Hi, we're the Philadelphia losers. We're the fucking Cincinnati shit stains. No one does that. They clearly revere the Indian that th that's their mascot. They clearly revere the Braves. The Atlanta Braves. They like Indians. When you name your Jeep the Jeep Cherokee, you're saying, these Cherokees were badass. We fought them for 400 years. I want their name on my car. It's a cool car. Hi, I'm driving a Jeep Jew. People say that the red skin term comes from the color of our skin, but if you look yes, at me, it does. I'm not red. <laughs> Society is just played into it, like the word red skin is okay when it's not. The word it not red okay? skin came about from the scalping of Native Americans. Red skin means the blood oh, that was dripped from <laughs> down on their faces. That's, okay, just That's stop. That is complete and utter horseshit. And this is the problem with saying, well, you're an Indian, so you must be an expert on the Indian. There's all kinds of theories about the origin of that word. And the only one that has been successfully refuted is the idea that they're called redskins because when you scalp them, blood drips down their face. I've even heard scalping being blamed on us, that we brought scalping to the Indians and made them, we scalped them and that became, th no, no, Indians, Made up scalping. That whole thing is a myth. And by the way, the smallpox blankets, that is also a myth. But anyway, the, the Redskins is not a racist term and it has nothing to do with blood.
you silly little girls. It's a major league sports team, and their their argument as the argument against changing the name would be just like me having a conversation with my mom, and my mom asked me, "Why don't you like Brussels sprout?" Because I don't. It's not like we have what? a mascot that's called White Man. By the way, <laughs> you know what's going on here with these two? Indians are funny. Out of all 500 tribes, the one common thread seems to be that they're funny. They're like Scottish people. Like, they're always riffing. Even their religions, even in, in uh, throughout all tribes, you always find the trickster, the crow. Riffs are a big part of it. And I think a big part of the English early colonists, their, their frustration with Indians was they kept teasing them and scaring them and stuff, going, boo, jumping out from a fucking bush. <laughs> and you could tell that these girls are funny. <laughs> they have funny DNA. <laughs> Go ahead. In a way that's making fun of our culture and who we are. And See, you've been trained. Just like everybody else. You've been trained by liberals to be a little pet. And you know what? I don't like that shit. Because I think treating people like they're pets and training them to champion your cause is bigotry. It's fucking disgusting that you not only see visible minorities as your little lap dogs that you can use to further your agenda, but that you happily use children and brainwash them to spew your bullshit lies. Fuck you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Rebel Edge, where you can find all the videos that are exactly like this one, but different.